Number 79, Integrated Concepts. A current balance used to define the ampere's design so that the current running through it is constant, as is the distance between the wires. Even so, if the wires change length with temperature, the force between them will change. What percent change in force per degree will occur if the wires are copper? All right, so here's the formula that relates force to the uh, length of the wire. So it's F force is equal to the current flowing through it multiplied by the wire's length multiplied by the magnetic field multiplied by the sine of the uh, angle. So basically um, what we realize here is that as the length changes the force can change, right? And it is proportional to one another because every term in here is mathematically multiplied. So I can kind of just write it something like this, right? Now the next step is to then realize that uh, the change in length is then proportional to the change in temperature. This goes back to several several chapters ago with right thermal uh, thermal heat. So the change in length, the change in length is then proportional to the change in temperature, but multiplied by this coefficient, right? The alpha value. So what we realize here is that if I now plug in or substitute this term on in for my change in length, I get a formula that kind of looks like this. So uh, now what they're asking for is they're asking for the percent change in force per degree will occur. So force per degree. So basically what they're saying is they want this, right? Force per degree. They want force per, divide this on over, degree. So we realize <clears throat> that the percent change here, if the current stays the same, magnetic field stays the same, and all this other stuff stays the same, right? The thermal uh, value will also stay the same, but it's basically what we can say here is we're basically saying that just ignore all this noise for the time being, because that's not really related to the length at all. What, what we realize here is that the, uh, the force per temperature, right, is going to be proportional to now. So I'm going to write a little proportional symbol, and that's going to confuse us because it's also the same symbol as this alpha, um, but it's proportional to the, the alpha value of copper, all right? So the alpha value of copper, you're going to look that up at 17 times 10 to the minus 6, all right? And that's kind of the proportion. Now, uh, they want it in terms of percent, so anytime you have then, essentially, this works out to be something like this. It's proportional to 17 times 10 to the minus 6, and anytime now we um, are talking about percentages, right? We can almost assume that this is a decimal. We got to multiply that then by 100 to get it into percent. So this would be 17 times 10 to the minus fourth, you know, percent. That would be the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Please help us out if you can and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Take care.